train that comes from Namibia and Malawi. There's a train that comes from Zambia and Zimbabwe. There's a train that comes from Angola and Mozambique. From Lesotho, from Botswana, from Swaziland. From all the hinterlands of Southern and Central Africa. This train carries young and old African men who are conscripted to come and work on contract in the gold and mineral mines of Johannesburg and its surrounding metropoli. 16 hours or more a day for almost no pay. Deep, deep, deep down in the belly of the earth when they are digging and drilling for that shiny, mighty, evasive stone or when they dish that mishmash much food into their iron plates with the iron shovel. Or when they sit in their stinky, funky, filthy, flea-ridden barracks and hostels, and they think about the loved ones they may never see again because they might already have been forcibly removed from where they last left them, or wantonly murdered in the dead of night by roving and marauding gangs of no particular origin. We are told think about their lands and their herds that were taken away from them with the gun and the bomb and the tear gas and the gatling and the cannon. And when they hear that choo-choo train, a chucking and a popping and a smoking and a pushing and a popping and a crying and a steaming and a chicken and a wah They always curse. And they cursed the coal train, the coal train that brought them to Johannesburg.